As economists, you know, we tend to believe more in good policies, and if uh, policy, proper pro policies are put in place, uh, generally those incentives are what give rise to entrepreneurship. That was certainly the Indian experience that uh, uh, during the first three to four decades, uh, the state, the government had put in place so much regulation that I like to say that you know not only the hands of the entrepreneurs were tied, but even the feet were tied. Uh, uh, and uh, it is really ultimately uh, the, the, the genius of the entrepreneurs of India that they still managed to produce about 3.5% 3.5% uh, to 4% growth uh, under those circumstances. But once uh, uh, the reforms actually freed up uh, the entrepreneurs to a substantial degree, uh, growth really took off. So entrepreneurs really respond to incentives. Uh, and, and at some level, I think, you know, that. I'm not a South Africa it's specialist, so I can't tell you uh, really what are the bottlenecks that the entrepreneurs face. But uh, ultimately, you know, if the uh, analysis is to lead to good policies, what one needs to look for is what are the bottlenecks facing the entrepreneurs in South Africa uh, and uh, uh, undo those bottlenecks, uh, provide the proper incentives uh, uh, for entrepreneurship. Uh, and I think, you know, the rest, the entrepreneurs figure out. I mean, in India, we had for a long time believed that somehow the government could figure out what are the good industries. And so we had this planning commission uh, trying to do targets that uh, so much steel to be produced and so much bicycles to be produced and all. But in the end, they couldn't really make it happen. Uh, in the end, once the entrepreneurs were freed up, they figured out what they wanted to produce, what were the right goods that could be profitably produced and uh, uh, sold to the consumers at good prices, at high quality, uh, and I think you know ultimately entrepreneurs are everywhere the same. So I wouldn't expect that South African entrepreneurs will turn out to be any different. And so you know I really believe in good policies.